What's going on everyone? This is Dark Synth, and in this video I will just be going over Dragonoff changes from the newest patch that just dropped last night, uh, version 1.04. We will be getting uh, version 1.05, I think, in June or July. Um, so I think that'll be another major patch for certain characters that didn't get touched, like Victor uh, is one of them. but. Without uh, further ado, we're just going to get into the changes of Dragonov, and before we actually get into that, I'm just going to give my thoughts on if I think Drag will still be viable, and yes, I think he still will be uh, very much viable. He's just more fair and toned down, because um, he was pretty strong. His damage was good, his mix-ups uh, were just a little too strong, so they toned him down, I still think he will be uh, a good character to use in tournament. So, yeah. Here, the balance direction, they say, based on the overall direction of version 1.04, adjustments were made to suppress the outstanding performance of certain moves. Regarding down back 3 plus 4, which is his hatchet kick, it was, his no it was noted that regardless of whether the opponent is standing or in a down state, the situation after a hit was exceptionally favorable, making it easier to use in continuation. Also combined with his other low attacks, it made it difficult to punish. Therefore, while preserving its characteristics such as high damage and the effects of counter hits, the performance was significantly toned down to consider its compatibility with other moves Dragonov possesses. Additionally, considering the overall high combo damage, the damage of moves frequently used in aerial combos have been reduced. And that last part here, you will notice throughout uh, most of the cast, they got a lot of damage reduction because the damage was pretty high uh, in this game. And now it's getting toned down and it's a good direction that Bamco is taking. So for the first uh, change, here is a nerf to Dragonov 4. The damage of the first hit when inputting 4-4, four, four, so this was his combo filler, is now uh, changed from 15 to 10. So this no longer does 15 points of damage, it now does 10. Forward 3, 1 plus 2. Uh, this move got a buff. The opponent's recovery time when blocking has been increased by 3 frames, and the advantage on block has been changed from minus 6 to minus 3. So now this gives uh, Dragonov more options after. Uh, he can now sidestep or maybe even go for a low if the opponent tries to retaliate with a jab. Um, and then they say this update includes significant downward adjustments to the performance of multiple low attacks. Considering this, changes have been made to facilitate offense using mid and high attacks. So, it seems like they're mainly going after his hatchet kick in this uh, patch. Because he already has down two, and that's an 18 frame low, which is unreactable. Um, so, they're just trying to, you know, make him more balanced with uh, surrounding his hatch, uh, hatchet kick. And kind of buffing other stuff too. So, forward 3, 1 plus 2 is now minus 3, and it gives him the ability to uh, step now. Down forward 1, the phenomenon where the opponent could crouch to evade subsequent high attacks after being hit by down forward 1 unnaturally quickly has been corrected. So, um, I think this is mainly aimed towards uh, Xiaoyu. I could be wrong. But I guess the opponent could uh, evade this after by uh, crouching somehow. I don't know. But I guess that is now fixed and you cannot do that anymore. Down forward 3 plus 4, which is his tail spin move. The damage has been changed from 23 to 19. So uh, this was his main combo filler. So after you do your tornado, you do... Down forward, 3 plus 4, dash up, back 3, 2, yada yada. Um, and they actually nerf these in general. So if you do more than 3, uh, they will now spin out. Hold on. Okay, so there we go. 
after the third one, uh, it tail spins them far, and uh, you can't follow up after. That's uh, across the board with tail spins. Next is a down four. So the reaction when hitting an opponent in face down position was different from the intended behavior, which has been corrected. So I guess it had a different behavior from that. Uh, okay, there we go. So I guess it had a different intended reaction. But yeah, I just wanted to show that. Next up is the major change to his hatchet kick. So he no longer moves forward as much as he did. The forward movement has been reduced, resulting in shorter reach. So if we actually set the opponent to punish... Okay, so here I have Kazuya backdashing on hit. So you can no longer get hatchet kick back to back anymore. Oh, I guess you can if you're super close. Um... But yeah, if you space it out, they can no longer you can no longer get hatchet kick back to back. It now seems like you have to be point blank. Um, and as you saw, there is now a new blocking uh, animation, and it's even more minus than it was before. This is now minus thirty one. I think it was minus eighteen. I believe. Um, so yeah. Oh, and they also changed the uh, frame data to plus three, up or down from plus seven. Uh, so that's definitely huge. Um, like I said, they're trying to balance them out around this move, so I can understand that. And that's it for Hatchet Kick. Uh, back four two one, which is this string that ends in a high. The downward hitbox size of the first attack. Okay, so back four has been reduced, making it less likely to connect with opponents in down states. So if we have Kazuya laying down, he can no longer get clipped by back four. But I wonder if this still applies to Jack and Bears. Okay, so yeah, this seems like it doesn't even work on big body characters, so crazy. It seems like now you'll have to use down two and hatchet kick as uh, ground attack options. So back one, two, and quarter circle forward two behavior. Adjusted the collision detection with the opponent to make it more difficult to slip under a floating opponent by extending the collision upward. So I guess they just extended the hitbox upward more on this, so opponents can't slip out um, while you're like trying to go for combos. Because I think I have seen uh, instances where uh, you do it and you just kind of slide under them. So that's a good change. Next up, his running two. This is another huge change. Running 2 is now plus 4, down from plus 6. So this changes the way Dragonov plays drastically around running 2. Now, um, if you try to do like a back 4, it'll trade with a 10 frame. So what you want to do with drag now is like pokes, like down forward 1. Since that's 13 frames, it technically makes your down forward 1 9 frames. And that'll beat jabs. So, also, I believe this means that he can no longer frame trap armored moves um, or rage arts with throws. So, this is definitely making Dragonov more of a poke heavy uh, style character. I mean, he still has his throws, which you sh still should use. Um, but now, just when it comes to like his physical stuff, they're trying to make him more of a poke heavy character. Um, and then next up is his running four. Uh, now the damage for this has been reduced from 36 to 28. And then due to the damage scaling applied in wall combos, the actual damage will decrease by approximately two to three compared to previous versions. So now you'll get two to three less damage in your combos which is understandable because they are trying to nerf the damage um, uh, with most of the casts. So, Next up, 
down full crouching one on hit the recovery time on the first hit has been increased by two frames uh, no change to frame advantage on block. The second hit no longer knocks down on the first hit if the first hit is a counter hit. So that's that's a wild change. He no longer gets a, uh, I guess it would be a bound on counter hit and he would get like a free crouch dash two after. That is no longer the case. So that is a huge nerf for full crouch down forward one. And then um, the one break for his ambush tackle. So this, the opponent's recovery time has been reduced by four frames. So if I read that correctly, that means... Okay, so Dragonov is minus four. Interesting. Uh, this adjustment was made considering cases where unintended follow-up attacks were possible. So now it just seems like you might have to step uh, your opponent's wake up on during that. Um, because now Dragonov is minus four after the one throw on his ambush tackle. So, like I said, I think he will still be a viable character. He's just more balanced now. Uh, I don't think at all he is... Um, like a worthless character like if you're maining Dragonov, you should still play him um unless you really feel like he isn't that great that's that's a you problem um but i i still think Dragonov will be viable but that's it for this video if you enjoyed uh, me going over these changes and content like this definitely leave a like and subscribe for more fighting game content and news this is dark Sun signing out and i hope you take care Money back. everybody want to know